Hello, my friends. Chestnut Mountain Tin Man here. It is Thursday, February the 18th, and it is somewhere in the neighborhood of 5 p.m. Just wanted to let you know I had an update today. Went to the uh, physical therapist that does, well, the one that set my hips and everything for the surgery and I got released to drive technically I can ride but I think I'm on the wait at least another week let the weather get better too it's cold wet and nasty but uh today I just wanted to talk about my KST 10 inch mayhem bars I know uh everybody was interested in them when when I first got them back on August 28th of 2018 so I've had them about two and a half years and I wouldn't have anything else I love these handlebars um, to me there's nothing better uh, man you know I wrote down a bunch of pros I could not write down any cons uh, one of the first pros is uh, just it puts you in an improved riding position you're up here like yay Move the camera around. I got two cameras running. Moving it up here like yay. Instead of something I remember. Something like down here. This just. I mean. Everything about it. Makes it more comfortable. To be on the bike. Including the handling of the motorcycle. It got better. Um. You can't go past the look of them. I mean, look at that right there. I mean, that just makes the bars pop. Really makes your motorcycle go boom. You know, it's a natural hand position. Um, just, uh, I have, as you all know, I have uh, neck and back issues. And, um... It helped them tremendously. I just it raises your arms up. Uh, I don't know. Some people like the twelve inch bars. I think that's going to be too high for me. But uh, I know the guy that put them on, Brian. Um, he was riding with the twelve inch Mayhem's, and he actually said he thought he was going back to the tens. So I think it's something you have to figure out on your own if you want them higher than ten. Ten seems to be the perfect place for me. I know it is Russ, my buddy, he's like 6'2", and he likes the 10s. Randy is who we got the idea from. If he buys a motorcycle, poof, the bars are on his new bike. I mean, he doesn't wait. Like I said, it, it just the positioning helps. Um, I mean, I've ridden, well, we rode back in, what was it, November, you know, 12 hours up to Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge. And uh, I did well. I think uh, the, the the improvement you get for control uh, of the handling, just the overall stability and handling of your motorcycle, curves, uh, overall steering, everything just becomes better. Um, you know, I went. Uh, we went to Anderson, South Carolina. Back in the summer. Was it the summer? No, it had to be. It was for the 2020s. That shortly after they had come out. And um, we rode an Ultra Limited. And we rode a uh, Road Glide Limited. Both with standard handlebars. And we both got off going, wow. I forgot how terrible it was to ride with regular bars. <laughs> it's like, eek. And it was. It was just like uh, such a different feel. I mean, just put those bars on and your bike's like total difference. It's like you got a brand new motorcycle almost. I just, I mean, you can't, you can't get a better look than that. Um, I just love the heck out of them. Um, I wouldn't change anything. You know, I had to, I had my heated grips kept with them, which cost extra money to have them put in. 
uh, by Brian. But um, if I buy another bike, these bars will be the first thing I change. No doubt. Uh, you can't go wrong with them. I can tell you that much. I've had, uh, I've had people asking me about my bike and what all I have on it. Don't crawl off this thing. How many freaking... I'll go over my bike. I've had a lot of people ask me what I've done to it. I've wrote down a list here. Um, what happened? I Oh, I have to have this. I've changed the headlights and spotlights. They are truck light daymakers. They're actually the lights that you uh, see in Jeep Wranglers. That's what they, uh, they've got several different ones, but that's like what they are. And uh, they came in a, in, in both the, you got bought the headlight and the spotlights together. And I can only tell you that wow when i put these on i had the ride on a friday night just with the new spotlights i didn't even have the headlights swapped out from the uh, harley led light but um i could tell a remarkable difference just with adding the spots i had a problem that uh, the company i ordered them from tore me uh, told me i didn't need a connector cable and eh, i did and i had to wait while they shipped it next day air to me and just the spotlights on a fr friday night that i rode after dark was remarkable i also have the custom dynamics the turn signals that turn amber when they're flashing and then you can see on my crash bars those are are they're made by Giami G U A I M I got them off Amazon um, and they're just highway crash bar lights and they also go run white running lights and then turn amber when you're turning and then on the rear and all my all my lenses are smoke. I changed the tour pack light out to smoke. I've added custom dynamic lights here. And these are the Harley Davidson low bag lights. And then these are the custom dynamic. Yeah, don't, don't. My bike's very dirty. Uh, and those are the cost, custom dynamic turn signals and... Um, turn signals and here I'll set the tripod up I'll let you see because I also have added the um, strobe when you break so I'll show you what they do That's made by Custom Dynamics also, and you have uh, several different settings that you can put them on. I also have Zero 3D's Adam Sandoval mini floorboards that I changed out my um, highway pegs to. Of course, you've seen before I have um put on the uh leds for look and they're both on the back to the rear on the front wheel and then all that right now they're flashing amber let's see what else have i done i have the michelin commander two tires on it and i love those those all that i'll ever have quad lock for my cell phone and then that's a um, cruiser caddy for a cup holder. Harley Davidson, a live to ride, ride to live gas cap I changed out. 
Anything else? Oh, and I have a, it sits up straight because I have a easy off center stand on it. You can see down there. Uh, and the easy off, I call it that because you just crank up and drive right off of it. You don't have to pick it off before you, you drive away. And, um, then you, and you just put it on the stand while you're still on the bike instead of standing beside it and pulling it backwards. Works just a little different. Uh, that's a eBay generic backrest. And that's, uh, that's about it. Other than my Adam Sandoval stickers. And my... Dragon from Riding Kellen and Dragon. Of course, that's my mount for looking forwards or backwards for the cell phone right there. And in my other cell phone. And that is about all I can think of that I have done to my motorcycle. So, hope that helps y'all out. And um, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you. Hope that uh, tells you what I think about the KST Mayhem bars. Uh, I love them. Uh, I will never have a bike without them. That tells you what they feel to me. So, thanks for uh, watching this. If... Um, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment words or emojis. Don't forget if you can't watch the entire video, pull the slider to the right. And if you're not one of my subscribers, please hit my subscribe button and then the bell icon for notification to help my channel grow. If I don't subscribe to you, I will hit you back to make your channel grow because that's only fair you did it for more for me i'm doing it for you so this is the chestnut mountain tin man with amber amber's a little dirty just a little but she's my baby when it warms up she'll be getting a bath so tin man saying we'll see you out there remember ride safe